What's up, everybody? Mike Gross here, RockingGuitarLessons.com. I have a request here for Black Veil Brides with a song called Fallen Angels for Night Wolves. And I've actually had many of you guys request this. This just happened to be the one, you know, so if you requested it, the shout out goes to you as well. Tuning is drop C sharp. And um, let's get started. What do you say? Yeah? Okay, we're going to do it. Here we go. That's it. Good night, California. See you later. Just kidding. All right, you ready? Let's do this. Wait a minute. This angle, this angle's not very good unless I hold the guitar up like this, like the Beatles, which I suppose I can do. It might make it a little more difficult, but I kind of wanted to try a different angle here, man. I'm trying to keep things fresh here at the RGL Studios. So, um. Anyways, drop C sharp is the tuning. Um, anyone else think this band kind of resembles a Vince Sevenfold? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But they look like Molly Crew. Yes, they do. Okay, um, power chords. And this tuning, instead of playing a power chord how you may be used to it, it's going to be different. Bar the fifth fret on the E and the A. Some people like to use two fingers. I think it's better to do it this way because it serves as a mute. Okay, so um, here's what you're going to do. It's the E and A string, here's the strum pattern. Okay, there's a solo being played over this, a melody and a harmony, but we went for the rhythm on this part. Um, so down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. That's the beat you wanna get. Same thing on the first fret E and A. Same amount of times. Uh, same thing on the third fret E and A. And then open E and A. Um, but one time through on the strum. And then you go to the third fret E and A and go one, two, one, two. You want to do the old karate chop rest. To create that, just take your hand and stick it over the strings. So, here's that part. Next part, really cool part. A little bit kind of how Iron, Iron Maiden used to do, the, they, they'd kick in with the melody riff the first time through and then the second time they throw a harmony over it. That's uh, basically what Black Veil Brides are doing here. And um, pretty cool part, man. It goes. So, you're gonna go up to fret five on the low E, pick that string, pick it again with a palm mute. Sorry you can't see my palm here, but I can't lift the guitar up and do that, so it's uh And then first finger, two G, I know it's kind of a stretch. Pick that and then palm mute the five E again. So you have And then back to two G, pick and hammer onto the third fret. That's gonna go two times. Try it again. Let's try it again. Okay, now that's kind of the hook. We're going to change the root note off of that. Uh, in other words, go over to fret one on the low E. Same beat, same concept as far as when to palm mute, when not to palm mute. So you'll have one, one again palm muted, and then two G, 
middle finger. Call me at the one E again, and then back to two G, hammer to three. Do that two times, so you have. Let's try those first two chunks. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing again, but we're gonna go to the third fret, Louis, for our root. Use your middle finger for that, so. The, the melody line's the same, the root notes are changing, which means our fingers are gonna have to change for those root notes. And this one goes like this. That's third fret low E. Do it again with a palm mute. Two G, that's the index. Back to the three E palm mute. Back to the two G, hammer onto the third fret. So that's consistent, right? In other words, your melody line goes like this. Through all of it, it's the root note changing that's coloring this into the progression that it is. And then go open E, same concept. Uh, so you're hitting it twice, first time no palm mute, second time with the palm mute. 2G, back to the palm muted E, back to the 2G hammering to 3. So. And then, uh, so let's play it through there. And then back to the first fret, low E. One time, and then another time with the palm muted. And then you go to 2G, back to the palm muted 1E, and then the ending's different. Now it's a pull off. It's hard to hear in there, but it's there. And you'll go up. Or, you'll end up doing a 3G pulling off to the second fret. So when you pull off, you're going to be picking this and snapping it to make the second fret on the G ring. Okay, that's what we're going to call one section, one subgroup. Um, earlier on in this lesson, I was telling you how they take the melody line. Remember, I was talking about Iron Maiden. They'll do this melody. Second time through, it's harmonized. You know, he's just doing what's it's called harmonizing in thirds. That's being played over there. Harmonizing in thirds. A lot of metal bands use that. I've been sevenfold, Iron Maiden. Really, it's one of the more popular ways to harmonize. So let's play um, that part. I'm sorry you can't see this hand. But uh, if, you, if you're listening, then you got this. So that goes twice. And then you'll go. So first fret E and A, bar that, down, 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 up, down, up, two times. Third fret, use your third finger, bar the E and A, do the same strum, but it's not two times. It'll be one time with one more hit, one more down strum. mute the 3E, and then open A, pick, hammer onto the first fret, pull off to the open A, and then an open E. So, that in itself is a cool little subgroup to work on. Going, but here it is. Oops. Oops. And then bar the first fret E and A. We're gonna go back to the, the strum, down, 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 up, down, up. So. Two times through on that. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. All right, let's play it from that section. 